Hello and welcome Capricorn. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. So Capricorn, keep in mind this is a general reading and not everything is going to resonate with you. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, also feel free to switch around the energies. So if I'm talking about, you know, your person, but it feels more like you, then definitely, like I said, switch it around. All right, so Capricorn, let's see what is going on, what is coming in, and what is it that you need to know? All right, so we got the Queen of Pentacles here. All right, we got Temperance. We've got the Ten of Wands. The Lover's card, beautiful. And the Six of Wands, all right. Bottom of the deck, we have that Queen of Cups. Amazing, beautiful Queen of Cups. Very intuitive, very loving, very um, selfless, very nurturing, selfless, not selfish. Um, again, very nurturing. I have to go back to very intuitive because it feels like Capricorn, you're the one that's tapping into that intuition. Um, although you could be dealing with a water sign, you know, but all right, or an air sign or a fire sign <laughs> or some earth signs here. Um, all right. So the queen of pentacles, let's see. Yeah. So Capricorn, it really kind of feels like you are trying to bring some kind of balance, um, into your life. It really kind of feels like a lot of you are, <sighs> I don't know if you're really focused on work. Maybe you're taking some time off from work, but it feels like you're in need of a break. Because you see how the book is just kind of down, like on the table next to her. You know, it just feels like, you know, she's kind of stretching. To me, it's just like saying that, you know, you guys kind of need a break for a minute. It really kind of feels like you've been putting in the work, whether this is, you know, like um, a job or this is just talking about doing like some self work, you know, doing some healing. You know, we are in Mercury retrograde. So, you know, keep that in mind. Um, you know, Mercury retrograde brings up, you know, a lot brings up, you know, things from our past that, you know, cycles that we need to close out, you know, sometimes people. Um, for some of you, I'm getting that you are disconnected from a connection. This could be a soulmate. This could be a twin flame. But I'm getting a disconnect. I'm getting that it's been very difficult for you to be apart from this person. Um, for some of you, it's like you don't understand why. Because it feels like it's been a pretty hot minute here since they've had communication with you. Or it just feels like they're kind of pushing you off to the side and you're not understanding why. So it's like you try to focus somewhere else. A lot of you have been focusing on self-healing or just like I said, in work, you know, trying to um, focus and work on like stability. Um, for some of you, this is working through some insecurities. You know, this is a queen of pentacles. Again, a lot in common here with the, um, the queen of cups, you know, as far as, you know, the queen of pentacles, she's very grounded energy. You know, she's, when I think of her, I think of root chakra mostly, um, you know, again, that grounded type of energy or needing to. So maybe for some of you, this is saying, you know, take a walk in the park um, or, you know, go outside barefoot, you know, whatever it is that you need to do. But do some grounding meditations or, you know, anything that you can do because it just feels like you are in much need of a break here. It's like you've been trying to go with the flow. For a lot of you, I keep getting like you are healing, going through like this healing process, you know, with temperance here, you know, bringing that healing balance back. Because like I said, it does feel like you are disconnected from someone. For some of you, this is a twin flame energy. For others of you, this is a soulmate energy. Um, and it's just like, it's been a long, hard battle. You know, you feel like you're kind of going through this alone. For others of you, this is... Again, being disconnected, but also moving towards love. This is moving towards a new soulmate. You know, we only have one twin flame, okay? One twin flame connection. Um, and not everybody has a twin flame connection either. However, we all have multiple soulmates. So I am seeing, like I said, for some of you, moving on to a soulmate type of connection. Um, it's like this person can really see the true, your true self you're you're comfortable with this person this person feels very loving very nurturing very understanding very 
I keep getting easy going. Um, this person could be very intuitive. This person could be very motherly. But it's like this person understands your obstacles. They understand what's been weighing on you. They understand everything that you're kind of going through. You just feel comfortable with this person. Um, Six of Wands, that's kind of, you know, that's being in the spotlight. That's um, getting some kind of recognition, you know. And that's what I'm kind of getting for you, for your person. It's like this person either recognizes, or it's almost like you guys kind of mirror each other, or you recognize things in each other that, you know, show to you that this is your soulmate, because it's like this person is really kind of helping you along this healing journey, bringing some kind of balance is what I keep getting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and soulmates aren't always um, romantic relationships. So this could be like a new friend. This could be... Uh, for a lot of you, I'm kind of getting that you're you're kind of getting feelings. Because it's like you've been going through so much and you've just kind of felt alone for so long. Like nobody really gets it. Nobody really understands. And then it's like you meet this person. So, yeah. For some of you, I'm getting a reconnection. For some of you, I am getting... This is a person from your past that you've been disconnected from for quite some time. Um, I keep getting something about winter time, so it could be maybe you, were, you disconnected in winter time, or maybe you will reconnect in winter time. I don't, for a lot of you, it kind of feels like you've, you're going to be reconnecting in summer, though. Hmm. Yeah. It almost feels like, okay, with the Six of Wands, for those of you that are reconnecting, it feels like this person has kind of been keeping an eye on social media or like just kind of watching you. Or maybe this, you know, again, take it how it resonates, you know, energy. Um, you know, maybe you're watching their Instagram story. Maybe they go live or maybe they have a YouTube channel or, you know, whatever the case is. It's like somebody here is like watching somebody. They're kind of in the spotlight. So, all right, let's go ahead and let's see what other messages come through. All right, so bottom of the deck, we've got that hermit card. So some of you could have been going, you know, doing some soul searching. Um, like I said, it feels like, you know, a long, hard road here at the Ten of Wands, feeling very much by yourself. You know, when you're going through that hermit mode, you go in hermit mode. You do feel very alone. You tend to kind of keep people, you know, at arm's length. It's like, I just want to go through this on my own. I don't really want to talk to people, you know. And then with COVID, of course, you know, that kind of kept, kept everybody in hermit mode as well. Um, but it's like, you know, you're coming in from out of the cold with this five of materials. It's like you're seeing the value in something because you're, it actually feels like you are kind of thinking, thankful for this. You know, five of materials, that's a five of pentacles. That's being, you know, things kind of like frozen in time. Um, you know, feeling cold, feeling distance, you know, being left out in the cold. But it's like you're almost thankful for this because it's like what you went through here got you to where you are now. It caused you to take that leap of faith. Not knowing what's on the other side, but just saying, you know what, screw it, let's see. And just moving forward. And then the wheel of fortune, you know, the luck being on your side. Finding where you're supposed to be. Finding, like I said, your soulmate. All right, so beautiful. Um, for some of you, this could be, this person could be at a distance. Hmm. But yeah, but it's definitely finding, like I said, a soulmate here to connect with. 
luck being on your side and it's all about divine timing like all of this happened for a reason and like I said Capricorn it really kind of feels like you're um, you're kind of like looking back on things you know especially like I said you know so many planets being retrograde especially Mercury right now it's like you're looking back on things and it's like you're thankful for the things that have happened because it got you to where you are now so all right so now let's go ahead and let's take some uh, energy oracle cards All right, so we have anxiety, man holding a heart. Bottom of the deck, we have patience. All right, so definitely, you know, there's been some anxiety here, especially, like I said, going through that 10 of wands, you know, feeling like you are, you know, doing this alone, you're carrying like a heavy burden, um, no one to really talk to, no one, like I said, it felt like you guys were kind of going through that hermit mode, um, not really connecting with anybody until, you know, the soulmate um, pops up. Like I said, you know, will of fortune, divine timing, you know, you went through this for a reason. You know, I strongly believe that we meet people along our path, you know, for a reason. Everybody we meet, it's for a reason. Whether it's good or bad, whether that person, you know, hurt us, lied to us, cheated on us, there is a lesson in everything, every person that we meet. Um, man holding a heart, like I said, it really kind of feels like, you know, you're being put back in your emotions. It's like you're opening up, you know, not just for, you know, loving someone else or seeing the love that, you know, this person is willing to give you, but it's also just opening up to the idea of love again, you know, to self-love, to everything you've overcome. So beautiful, beautiful. All right. So let's see. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and let's take some Oracle cards. All right. All right. So again, remember when I said this soulmate could start off as like a friendship, um, somebody definitely, like I said, getting put in their feelings, realizing, you know, opening up to the idea of love. Um, you know, they want to be more than friends. Somebody here, you know, could, like I said, develop more feelings, wanting to be more than just friends. I will wait for a sign from you. Um, you know, Capricorn, that's you just, you know, or, well, it could be your person, too. It's like somebody here is just kind of waiting. They want to take this to a whole new level. Um, and then I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Yeah, like I said, going back to that five of materials, this particular card, I just kept getting the vibes that you were looking back on, you know, a situation, on a relationship, you know, whatever the case is. And it's just like, you know, I'm grateful for these lessons because without these lessons, without these people, I wouldn't have gotten here today. So it's like, you know, I forgive you. I'm releasing that. But I'm moving forward, and I'm moving forward, you know, healing, and I'm moving forward in a much better, you know, headspace, heart space, you know, just as a better person in whole. All right, so that is what I have for you, Capricorn. So I do hope this helps your situation. Thank you so very much for stopping by, and until next time, guys, take care.